starting in prayer hands to forehead into temple keep your elbows pulled back and your shoulders down open the fingers cupping the hands into lotus back to temple forehead and prayer hands this is a traditional opening and closing opening the hands in front of the heart pull the fingers away we're working each finger one two three four and four three two keep your elbows up rotate your hands and one two three really use your fingertips four three two one cup the hands and roll the fingers gesturing from the heart flat palms rotate the fingers towards your ears and bring them to the front getting ready for as above so below as above rotate all the way around so below imagine that you're trying to balance a quarter on each hand and don't drop it flat palms extend the arms out and again roll the fingers I call this tickling trout work all the fingers including your thumb and extend the fingers like you're shooting light off your fingertips roll the hands around and push the heel of the hands out lift the elbows slightly keep the shoulders down tickle trout and roll press out tickle the trout and push the heel of the hands Don't forget to lift the elbows and tickle the trout and out pressing with the heel of the hand into a fish or water gesture roll through the fingers come in toward the heart a little faster okay, really roll through the fingers and even faster good let the watery movement go all the way up into your elbow keep the shoulders down into a cup prayer hands and cross the wrists into a double snaking gesture and lotus fingers cup the lotus temple and a double snaking gesture down and you reach out and look out the dancer pays a lot of attention to her own hands and the gestures that's it secure your spine and roll up shoulders pull down exhale down roll up a little faster and down 
As you roll up, drop your tailbone and your head. As you roll down, pull the hips back. Hold that and keep the shoulders down. Hips roll side. Hold it there for a split second. Shifting your weight. Roll the lower back into a circle. Really pull up as you come around. And reverse. Rounding the lower back. Should feel good. And down you go to roll back to center and pull the shoulders back. And you're going to lean into one side, shifting your weight side to side. If you need to bring your feet a little closer together, feel free to do so. So think about just shifting just directly to the side. Now take the hips down and lift. Down with the tailbone and pull the hip up. These warm-up exercises are very important because so many of the gestures and positions that we use pull your torso into what is called a triple bent position. So you want to be sure your hips are warm. Now bring the hips up and over to the side. Up and over. Up and over. Up and over. Let's try a full circle down all the way up. If you were drawing circles in the air with your hips, they would be going directly, think of going directly up and down the side walls. Okay, you don't want to come forward and back on this. And around. We're going the other way now. Take one foot behind you. This is an important gesture that we use called a knee sit. So make sure your back heel is lifted and the back knee fits right into the front knee like a little nesting plate. This is a very useful gesture because it allows you to sit down comfortably like you're sitting in a little chair and it's very safe for your lower back. sit. You want to sit back in the hips a little and turn to the side. Just slightly let your shoulder drop down. You want to feel that stretch in the hip and good. Moving into the first gesture Cupping the lotus, bring the middle finger and the thumb together, go back into your knee sit, and open the arms. Arms pull up, sit back into your hips, you're going to bring your hands together into what I call the mother, it's the feminine, pointing to the earth, hands into the heart. Going to cup your bottom hand under, holding a basket. Grab the two fingers of the moving hand and pull that flower out of the basket and offer that flower. Flatten the palm and lift it up, and the other elbow pulls out. That's it. Reach the arms out and up, back into lotus. Change feet. thumb and middle finger together. Keep the shoulders down as the arms lift and lower. Back into the mother. Up into prayer hands.
basket with the other hand, flower, two fingers into your thumb, forefinger and middle finger, smell the flower as it goes past you, offer it, flatten the hand, extend the arm out, sink down into your legs, extend the arms, lift up, lotus, temple, pull your elbows back, forehead, heart. Ganesh is the remover of obstacles and dancers typically pray to Ganesh before dancing. So you're sinking into one leg, bringing the arms around, Top hand lines over the top of the head, and the bottom arm presses out from the heart. Reach up into lotus and come back. Sink down into your leg. Lean away from your supporting leg by the ears. This allows you to sink down into your hips. Your top arm is Ganesha's ear. And your bottom arm is Ganesha's trunk. Stretch as comfortably as you can. Hold that. Lift your torso up to come back to the center. Lotus. Temple. Forehead. Bending like a branch of a tree, your hands cup by your pelvis, pull up by the heart. This is a transformation of energy through the heart into the spirit. Hold a vertical torso. Now sink into your leg, sink into your hip, and turn. Look at that elbow. Keep the hip lifted as that leg extends out. You stretch out and open. Beautiful. Top arm up, pull it back, arms wave, and bring the hands back into prayer hands. Lace the fingers by the pelvis, sink into your other leg, and pull up through the heart transforming the energy and up you go into a vertical torso sink into the leg turn and look at your elbow as the leg extends out keep the outside hip lifted good and you can look down or up in this gesture arm pulls back and pulls you up and the arms wave and gather it in you're going to turn yourself to the side make sure that front knee is bent your back heel is down you're on a slight angle as above you lift the chest very ecstatic rapturous movement there so below Stretch the chest forward, pull the shoulders down. Make sure that front knee is bent. Arm wraps around you. You're going to align the palm of the hand with the top of the head and turn and twist. You can even look back at your heel. Pulling yourself up. Thumb gestures to the heart. This is a blessing, comes from the heart. The other hand, you're reaching out through the heel of the hand. You're in a knee sit, you just sink down. You can lean into your bent elbow. Now we're looking at the mirror. This is the dancer checking herself in the mirror. Call this next one dreaming of Krishna. You just brush your hand by your face and reach out over the other arm. 
hands now gather round into what is called cup of love. You circle the hands around, keeping the torso closely aligned to vertical, and prayer hands. Let's try that on the other side. Other leg gestures back, rotate slightly to the side. Here we go. As above, open. So below, press the heel of the hand. Now this bottom elbow, keep it pressed forward. Reach out, stretch out the whole side of the body. There you go. Gather the hand, pull that pulls you up. Gesturing from the heart, this is a blessing. Knee sit. Lean into that bent elbow. That's it. But don't round the, the spine. Mirror. Very proud gesture. So lift up through the chest. Dreaming of Krishna, very languorous pose. Gathering the hands. We come together, cup of love. And now we're going to circle the other way. Want to compromise your torso to do that and hold. The dancer with her bells again turns slightly to the side. Good. Lift the leg closest to the screen. Extend up through the arm away from the screen and press the other arm from the heart. Holding your balance is a challenge. The transition here is also a lovely thing. Lift up through the chest. You're going to shift your weight slowly to the other side and hold again. Cup of love. Lifting the back leg. And place it down. Now this is the dancer with her tambourine. Pull the elbows up and the hands go right next to your ears. Opening, opening. There you go. Stretch through both arms. Pull yourself up with that top arm. Lotus fingers, temple. Forehead is where you acknowledge your teachers. Hands by the heart acknowledge each other the other side. Turn. Sink. Now see if you can just follow this one without me giving you instructions. See if you can just feel this. Try to reach up through the heel of the hand and down with the tailbone to hold your posture. Body, you want to start to feel like a, a piece of rubber band that's being pulled in two directions. You hear you're reaching forward through the chest. Good, now sink down through the leg, up through the top of the head. Lift that leg behind. Swing those hands around and pull up through the elbow, down, down through the tailbone, down through the heel opening the hands in two directions. That's it. And up. Lotus. Temple. Teacher. Heart. Ah, Krishna and Radha. Krishna plays his flute. Take the two inside fingers to your thumb. You're in a knee sit and you're leaning into the bottom shoulder. Very playful gesture. And Radha, grab a hold of the torso and extend that other arm. Turn and look up. It's an ecstatic, rapturous pose like the lover Radha. 
reach up through the top arm, back to the center. Circling into Krishna. Knee sit, torso to the side. around the torso, top arm extends languorously behind the head and lean into it, turning and looking up, reaching up with the top arm, stretch, stretch, fingers extended, and down for Kali Durga, two very strong sword women here, turn, Sink down your weight as so you lift the leg. Now your bottom arm is holding a sword. The top hand is extended up over your head. Again, pressing that top arm up, up, turning, and now the sword is in your top hand. I'm going to make a gesture with the bottom arm, putting the sword back in the sheath. Kali. Sink. Knee up. Hold your sword. Extend up through the heel of the hand. Lowering your, your foot and shifting your weight. Pulling the sword out of the sheath, Durga. Sink back and put your sword away. Prayer hands. Hanuman, the monkey god. Rotate your feet open, slight turn out of the feet. Hanuman is showing the tattoo of Ram, his master, on his chest to show his devotion. Sink back into your hips, pull your shoulders back. It's a deep squat position. Make sure your lower back is slightly arched. Now Hanuman grabs the sun out of the sky. Shifting your weight, you can keep your foot down or lift that leg up. Notice the slight rotation of the leg that actually helps you hold your balance. And back to the center. Temple, teacher, heart. Open. Actually opening your shirt to show the tattoo. Grabbing the sun out of the sky, holding it like that lantern over his shoulder. Sink down, pull down the tailbone, lift up through the rib cage and the hand. That will help you hold your balance. And extend up. Lotus, temple, and down. to two and ten o'clock, come down into a little plie, a series of postures is based on the apsaras, which are the nature spirits, also featured in the temple, so just an easy side to side, Good. and you're gesturing into that cup of love. somewhat stable in your torso when you go to the front. You don't want to round your lower back. Good. Now take the hands up overhead into temple. And just a lateral bend over to the 
side. Try to keep the, the fingertips aligned with the top of your head so you don't change the frame around your face. And come back to the center. And over. And you're going to rotate slightly forward. Again, keep the fingertips aligned over the center of the head. This is actually a very strengthening move. Now you're rotating a little to the back. Good. Stretching and strengthening your torso. Circling to the back and side and front. And good. Open the arms now. Rotate your elbows up toward the ceiling and to the floor. Good. One arm at a time. Other arm. Sink down. Getting ready for Shiva. So you're going to sink into one leg. If you need to keep that leg down, feel free to do so. Otherwise, lift the knee and slightly extend the foot. You're holding Shiva arms number one and now Shiva arms number two flat palm, the bottom arm gestures to, actually there's a dwarf under his foot which signifies ignorance that you're stamping out. Now Shakti, the feminine, those lotus fingers, and here she is combing a love knot out of her hair. And extend through the, through the rib cage. Lift the back leg both arms and back to the center. Shiva arms one. Shift your weight. Keep these arms dynamic. Reach out through the fingertips. Keep your palms flat. That knee comes up and the foot extends. Reach up through the top of your head down through your tailbone, down through your heel. Shiva arms number two. That top arm is actually giving you a blessing. Open your thumb. It's called a half moon mudra. Shakti the feminine. Fingertips into lotus. Combing the love knot. Through the arms and back to center. Temple and a stretch down, reaching up with that top arm, pulling away with the bottom arm. Stretch lotus. back together. Temple. Teacher. 